I've run across a tremendous quantity of one of my favorite plants, Monotropa uniflora, commonly known as the Indian pipe around here. I always love seeing this stuff, but it might be kind of hard to show, but I mean, I found a huge quantity of it. And I doubt the actual scale will pick up here, but it's all over the ground here. Lots and lots of it coming up all over the place. This this thing is, in fact, a plant and a fungi that, for some reason, a lot of people confuse it for, which I suppose is reasonable if you're not really a plant enthusiast, but it's a parasitic plant that feeds off of the mycorrhizae of fungi that are symbiotic with trees. And I had to look that up. For some reason I was thinking it was a saprophyte, but that's, that's incorrect. So indirectly it is getting its nutrition off of the chlorophyll of living, or well, uh, trees that have chlorophyll, which this does not but it's doing it indirectly through fungi. That just, how bizarre is that? It's just strange. But it's just such, a, such an unusual plant. And I read they're apparently associated with Russula mushrooms or fungi. And there are definitely rustles here. I believe that's a rustle. And there's some more over here across the fence. Maybe hard to see, but that's another rustle, I think. And it's just growing all over the place. You know, I usually see some of this every year, but I don't think I've ever seen an area where there's just so much of it. It usually comes up in relatively isolated patches. There we go. Same shot. Now, apparently it's also associated with beaches, and there are no beaches in this part of the woods. The majority of the trees in this little sort of general area are, well, they're quite mixed, but we have oaks, maples, birches, hickories. That's a hickory right there. That's actually a shagbark hickory. Let's see what else? Black gum, sassafras. Magnolia. So there's all kinds of stuff around here. But I guess the closest main ones to this little area is the hickory and the maple. But, man, <laughs> this stuff is just amazing. And Those are the seed pods, and it is a seeding plant. It's not 
it's not spore producing which you would kind of think this strikes me as being an archaic plant but it's it's seed producing those little tiny things right there if I can focus So, apparently propagation is difficult, which is not surprising with a lot of this unusual stuff that you find on the forest floor. You know, you'd probably, if you wanted to transplant any of it, you'd probably need to dig up a quite a large quantity of soil to bring the mycorrhizae with it because that's what it depends on to live and assuming the mycorrhizae can form a symbiotic relationship with the local trees you're trying to move it to so anyway I'm getting kind of rambly but I just had to point this stuff out some of this has a pinkish tint to it but it's mostly white sometimes you'll see them in their pink and then there's another monotropa, I don't recall the species, but it's uh, amber colored. <laughs>